King James uh, Version. And the, the book of Psalms, King James Version, uh, 100, 105, 103. Heavenly Father, thank you, Father God, for the blessing of our mind and our spirit. For the Lord, as we commit it to you, in the name of Jesus. And we all have it, it says uh, uh, this. It's a psalm of praise. It says, make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands. Serve the Lord with gladness and come before his presence with singing. Know ye that the Lord, he is God. It is he that has made us and not we ourselves. Uh, we are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. For the Lord is good, his mercy is everlasting, and his truth endureth to all generations. You may be seated, please. You may be, you may be seated. Um, um, I'll just simply tell you what the subject is, uh, uh, title today. It is, What Noise Are We Making? Amen. Again, Amen. what noise are we making? We'll come to the time of the year where we start to see many celebrations. Uh, many are graduating college, many are uh, graduating high school. Now they even do the graduations uh, from sixth to seventh grade or all these different atmospheres. You see a lot of celebration and happening on in people's lives, but we sometimes don't see the celebration of life itself. We see many that because Super Bowls and the basketball games, we see a lot of celebration and we see a, a lot of noise making, but it's not a joyful noise unto the Lord. I've been guilty myself where I can scream at the TV as if they can hear me and say, don't go there, get out of the way. And I might have seen this movie three or four times knowing what's going to happen. But then when I come into the church house, when I go down the street and think about how good God has been, right. what type of noise am I making? Long I promise I won't be here long, uh, but I have to understand yeah. what noise uh -huh. are we making? Yeah, yeah. In fact, I, I, when you look at this, I, I said, well, Lord, I, I wanted to see how many times make a joyful Noise was in the Bible. Guess what? It's only in the Bible seven times. Mm -hmm. But I start thinking with, as I think, and I said, well, you know, that means that every day, seven days out of this week, mm -hmm. that I should have some joy. Uh -huh. Amen. Yeah. Amen. And out of that, I should have yeah. some joy for noise. Yes, yes. Well, what it says, when I start to look at it, I, I noticed that it said unto God two times mm -hmm. in these scriptures. Then it said unto him. Mm -hmm. Then it said unto the Lord. Then it said, before the Lord. And it let me know that not only should I go to God, but then I should understand who he is. And then I should understand that I'm before him in his presence. Oh, Lord. But one of my favorite Help ones me. that it said was, it says, to the rock of our salvation. Uh -huh, uh -huh. This is where we should make a joy yeah. for no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We understand that that rock of our salvation is Christ. Yeah. But my question for us is to understand what? Noise. Uh -huh. Are we making? Uh -huh. A lot of times we find ourselves making a noise, but it might not be joyful. All right, now. Well, what do you mean? We find ourselves because things happen. As the song that was saying, that why not me? We still saying, why me, Lord? Uh -huh. We start to find ourselves in situations instead of saying, God, what is the lesson that you're trying to show me? What is the mystery that you're trying to reveal with me? We start to find ourselves complaining. All right. Come on. Now, I don't know about you, and many men across America, don't get mad at me, can say they don't want a nagging wife. And many women can say, I don't want a lazy man. All right. I'm going to throw that in there. I don't want a lazy man. But when we start to understand when there's a lot of noise going on, sometimes our tolerance can't take it. 
Because it's not that we're saying something, but it's what we're saying that becomes a problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. If you ran across a person that told you every negative thing but never gave you edification, how long would you hang around that person? Come on now. If you had someone that could always point out the problem but never give the solution to things, how long would you stay around? If there was never a praise of solution or gratitude given, then how would you feel in your mind? But then we find ourselves in a position where we might be treating God in this nature. Usually sometimes we only call for him when trouble arrives. God help me how I'm going to get out of this. Lord, if you save me, but you didn't show up to church in 365 days out of the year. Come on, come on. All I'm saying is what noise are we making? Every day we should have something that she, we should make a noise unto the Lord. Well, I like Psalms 98. Psalms 98, if you uh, if you're in verse 4, it says this. It says, make a joyful noise unto the Lord all the earth. Make a loud noise and rejoice and sing and praise. I, I like this because it's saying not only should I make a noise, but now I should have some rejoice in it. Now I should have a sing or a song of praise. Well, also lets me know that there's three elements. Not every noise that I'm going to make is going to sound like a bird. It's going to let me know that my noise can be different from rejoicing. Well, what do you mean? Sometimes things seem like it's falling apart all around you, and all you can say is, Lord Jesus. Sometimes all you can do is acknowledge him. But guess what? At least you acknowledged him. Well, some of them don't acknowledge him at all. They'll say, what is going on here? They did instead of saying, Lord, I know that you can make a way out of no man. Then I like the rejoicing because in the rejoicement, everybody had a testimony today. That's a form of, Lord, I'm rejoicing because you brought me this. It could have ended another way. I could have died on the highways and the byways, but you got me. Lord, the tornadoes could have took me away. And all, Lord, I can say is thank you. Thank you. Lord, I rejoice unto you because I could have been in my sick bed. I, I could have been laying in my bed and dying, but God, you healed me. Thank you, Jesus. There should be some rejoicing thank taking you, place. But when we find ourselves focused more on the, the negative, when we find ourselves focused more on the problem, then we can't get to the rejoicing of it. Now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Minister Franklin shared a, a powerful testimony uh -huh. to understand that only was only one love nut that was holding on to the uh -huh. tie. But thank God that he waited till we got stopped. Yeah, 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 thank yeah, God yeah. that the tie didn't come off the hill. Thank God that he sustained Hallelujah. because he's a sustainer and a keeper. Many of us are going through our lives and saying, man, uh -huh. today was a rough day. But when we start to understand, wait a minute, it could have been the end of the day. Come on. The end of the life. God, I'm going to rejoice anyway. No, they might not spoke to me like I wanted them to speak to me. No, they might not have handled me the way I wanted them to handle But God, you handled me with care. Why? Because you kept my mouth. God, you let me know not to say nothing, but to, to praise you and give you prayer. And so I help me. So God, I'm here because I got tomorrow for another opportunity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What noise are we making? Yeah. I like it because we start to see the words in these scriptures that says unto unto, before in his presence. It lets me have to understand a couple of things in this. It lets me know that if I'm a Christian, I must be part of God. And if I'm part of God, then I must be a reflection of him. I must understand there's nothing hidden before God. And if I'm there before him, he sees all things that takes place. I have to understand that it's not what I do in my closet that I can get away from because God sees all things. We have to keep that in our mind when we're acting right. We have to keep that in our mind when we're talking right. We have to keep that in our mind when we're around folk that might not look at us as if we're somebody. Why when I understand that God, I'm in your presence all the time, that my conduct should be 
pleasing in your sight. I understand the Lord knows your heart. I understand he knows mine. But I also understand at Sunday school, he has no respect of person. And that means if I step over to the left and it's wrong, he's going to hold me accountable. That means if I'm not loving the way I should, he's going to hold me accountable. That means if I'm not letting you know how good God is. God lets me know if I'm acting ashamed of him, then he's going to be ashamed of me. No matter how you can come up and let your ADD and all your HTV or what alphabet you have come jump up and act crazy inside of the church house, if you're not letting that happen out in the streets, if you're not letting it out, out to your neighbor, then God is saying, get away from me. I don't know you. All I'm saying is, what noise are we making? I have a lot of my young people today that can sing a lot of songs uh, from these artists. Uh, I haven't said it to my class sometimes. Rip me out the plastic. I'm acting brand new. I can't even remember who seen that song, but it became a trend. They start talking about what's pink and what's brown and all these different things, but they don't understand this little song, the little light of mine. Many of them are singing these songs that are manifesting in their mind, right, right, corrupting right. them, and not understanding how to turn it around. Come on now. now, I can easily say bad on them, but I have to look at ourselves and say, are we making sure that right. we're going right. out and showing them how good God is? Or are they learning the bad example through us? All, right, now. All I'm saying is, what type of noise are we making? One of my favorite things here is to the rock of our salvation. Well, wait, 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 wait. Oh, you mean to tell me that my noise that I make matters? Because if I don't make the proper noise, it can offend Christ Jesus? The rock of our salvation. You mean to tell me that how I conduct myself, how I walk matters to Christ? Well, it has to matter because that means that he didn't die in vain. That means that I now that I understand that Christ died for me, that I must understand that I must continue to walk. I must continue to stay in faith. I must continue to teach who a good God is. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know about you, but if you are continuously in a courtroom, mm -hmm. the judge gets tired sometimes of seeing you. <laughs> You can't choose the defense attorney because they start to not want to represent you. Mm -hmm. Well, last time I checked in the spiritual realm, all we have is one defense attorney. Right. And that attorney name is Jesus. Yeah. But it is always trying to make an excuse for you uh -huh. because the devil who's trying to prosecute you and he's saying, well, Lord, I, I, I have no evidence to support that this person is trying to live holy. The devil is, is right, Lord, but all I'm saying is can we use my blood? But when we don't know how to call on that name Jesus, what kind of noise are we making? When we look at this scripture, one through five, make a joyful noise unto the Lord all ye land, it, it lets me know that the ones who are supposed to, when it says all, that means A-L-L, that means all of us are supposed to make a joyful noise. In 98, we saw that it says all of the earth. Matter of fact, the Bible tells me to go out and preach to every creature. Uh, give me a bird. I know you're chirping, chirping, but do you know the, do the, know the Lord? Give me a little puppet. Do you understand that, you know, it said every creature. And so I understand it now that we all have a responsibility. All of us, especially those that are called by his name. We have to, what, turn from our wicked ways? We have to, what, acknowledge him so that we can make a joyful noise unto the Lord. I, I like it, too, when I sit in and think about making a joyful noise to the noise because I always understand that it's two sides of a coin. If I'm making a joyful noise unto the Lord, or if I'm not doing that, then I'm doing the opposite. What is the opposite of joyful? Uh, sorrow or something that he don't want to hear? Something that's going to keep his hand in his face saying, Lord Jesus, 
what is they doing? That means I can also be offensive to the Lord. We've read our Bibles, we've read the stories. Well, sometimes God said, I repented that I made man in a wicked way. So that should let me know that it's not a gray area. It's only a left or a right. Either I'm making a joyful noise or I'm offending him. Come on, come on. Well, you say, how do you offend him? Not loving your neighbor like you should? Come on. Guess what? How do I offend him? Not acknowledging him and letting him direct my path. How do I offend him? Some offend him don't even believe that Jesus Christ is Lord and Savior. I'm just telling you we can offend him. Some of us are a little antichrist walking around here. But guess what? Guess what? That's not my place to put him in a heaven or a hell. It's not your place to put him in a heaven or hell. My place is to open the door and show a better light. One of the best things that you can do for someone that feels that they are miserable or angry is love on them. Amen. Amen. Paul said, he said, love your enemy. Amen. He said, when, you, uh, hung, when they hunger, feed them. When they, when they thirst, give them a drink. But what he said was, it's going to be like a heap of coals on their head. Well, why is that? He said, you mean to tell me I'm hating on you, but you're going to keep loving on me? I am. I am. Eventually, they're going to have to break it. Eventually, they're going to realize they was hating on the wrong person when they should have been hating on the enemy that was trying to destroy them. We have to always understand that we are before this rock. What noise are we, we making? One, I like this when I see this. It says, serve the Lord with gladness. Everything that I do for the Lord, I must have some gladness in it. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I'm the only one that show up to church, open the doors every day. You better have some gladness in it. Why? Because God sees what you do. Guess what? You know that might be part of you stacking your treasure in Amen. heaven. Amen. I don't know why they're not getting up and, and doing this thing. Don't you understand Amen. that God has called you to do it? Amen. Glory. Glory. Do and serve the Lord with gladness. Yes. Why am I serving the Lord with gladness? Uh -huh. Because he's my rock. Why am I serving the Lord with my gladness? Because he's my shield. Yes. Why am I serving the Lord with gladness? Because he's my wheel in the yes. middle yes. of the wheel. And he is the one that has redeemed me with a cost that I couldn't pay. Yes. So I'm a son of no matter what it is. Oh, when we understand that we're serving the Lord and not the people, then the crowd won't matter. You want to tell me the crowd won't matter? No, because I understand I'm doing it for Jesus. Amen. So no matter if it's one of uh, 1,000, I'm still going to give you the same effort. I'm still going to give you the same 100%. I'm still going to give you the same one because I'm serving the Lord with gladness. Yes. Hallelujah. It says, I must come before his presence with singing. Uh -huh. Now, y'all know, y'all heard me sing. I ain't the best, the best singer. Uh, things, but I'm coming with him, and usually when we say a joy of the noise, have you noticed they'll use that in a reference of form of singing? But I know those three things, and lets you know that I can come to him joyfully and don't sing. But he's saying when I'm in his presence, what is my heart like in my heart? Am I saying, God, I'm thankful because I know that you're a way maker? God, I'm thankful because I know that you're a provider. What is the song in my heart? What is the lyrics that I'm speaking? Or am I saying, Lord? I don't know how I'm going to do this. Lord, I, I don't know how we're going to get through this. But I'm saying, God, I know that I'm more than a conqueror. God, I know that you will take care of me. God, I know. What kind of noise are we making? I love it. It says, know ye that the Lord, he is God. Oh, well, that just lets me know that when I understand that you're God, when I understand that you're a creator of all things, when I understand that there's no power higher than yours, then I should come with gladness because guess what? I got a front seat. Guess what? I got the front pew. Guess what? I, I'm in your presence. And now, because I'm in your presence, uh -huh. that makes me a VIP, you know, a very important person. Uh -huh. God, because I'm going to sit there and praise you and sing songs of Zion because I understand that you're going to fight my battles. Yeah, I understand yeah. that business is mine. Said the Lord, I understand that you got me. Yeah. So what noise am I going to make it? Noise of gladness, noise of rejoice. Lord, I'm here singing songs of Zion yeah. because I understand yeah. no matter what the world thinks they can do to me, God, when I got you. Yes, amen. Yes, amen. 
No matter what they say, and trust me, they're going to come and hate on you. Guess they trust. They're going to come and lie on you. Trust me. They're going to come. When they see the anointing that God has given you, they're going to come because the enemy don't like that. And guess what? It ain't even about your salvation. The enemy want to keep you so distracted that you can't save nobody else. Amen, amen, amen. Glory. Come on. When we start to understand the perspective of things, when we start to understand, wait a minute, wait a minute, I'm already saved. Uh -huh. Why? Because I believe in my heart and I, I confess. And guess what? Not only I believe in my heart, I'm walking through faith. But when we start to understand the key thing that God gave was go out and preach. Uh -huh. When we find ourselves not doing this, then the devil thinks he's winning because he distracted us from doing what our mission is. Uh -huh. yeah. uh, I'm, I'm, I'm glad that uh -huh. you're saved, Sister Jenkins. I'm glad, but are you helping somebody else? <laughs> well, baby, my, 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 my legs hurt this morning. Uh, uh, wait, wait a minute, wait, 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 wait. Let's don't get it twisted. I'm glad that we are saved, but the mission is to save us. And a lot of times we get caught up because we can meet our own meditation time and we can get our own prayer time, but we fail to realize it's the prayer of the perfecting of the saints. It's the ministry of the perfecting of the saints. Yeah. And so, yes, we get caught up sometimes not realizing it's how I do my neighbor. It's how I go out there that makes the devil say, oh, Lord. <laughs> it makes God rejoice. Amen. We've heard the story of the 99 and the 1. We heard the story. So yes, 99 of us saved, but what about that one? So we should always be seeking that one for the one. Let me let me let me let me let me let me move on. And all I'm saying is what is the noise that we're making? When we understand this, then this is how we understand that he that has made us. We don't belong to ourselves. It's he. That deserves all the honor, Thank all the glory, the Thank creator. You. Thank you, Lord. We don't belong to our, ourselves. Thank you. Oh, wait, wait, wait. You mean you be community properly? You should be shared among the people? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. We ain't that special. Our Sunday school was good this morning. There's no respect to person and things. I can't be boastful as if God has just chosen me out of you. No, 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 no. God chose me for a particular assignment, but your assignment is just as worthy as mine. Amen. What kind of noise are we making? Are we making noise in unity? Or are we making noise in division? Come on. I love it because he says... We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. And I got stuck there for a minute because I was looking at this and, and of course you know the all faithful Psalms 23 came up. But I didn't get stuck in the pasture part. I got stuck with the valley. What is noise are we making in the valley? When we know we made his lambs down through green pastures and gray and that's great. I like green, it's almost the color of money. I like green because you know, hey, Ain't nothing like a fresh cut grass that you can look at. And sometimes, because I sit there and say, oh, Lord, I can't believe I just did it. I go look at the edge of my yard and say, man, I just I just stare at that pasture of grass. But what happens when it's dirt and it got the little sunspots in it? What do you do? Do you still stare at it the same way and say, Lord, it's still created by you? God, what do I do in my valley, in my times of trouble? Am I still making a joy for noise? Am I still rejoicing? Am I still understanding that you in control? This is something that we have to look at ourselves. How am I conducting myself in my valley? It says, enter into his gates with thanksgiving. I like this word. I love this word. Uh, as we start to learn more, you'll start to understand I love Hebrew and and Greek. Many people like uh, like I call Minister Frank a historian because she 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 she's she, that history. I believe that in your ministry you get called to certain things. Me, I love words. Um, I can't pronounce them all the way, but I, I I like words. And one of the things for me when you understand Thanksgiving and you go back to, to the root word of confession, don't you know confession means to cast out, to throw, but it also means Thanksgiving. What words am I confessing on my daily of Thanksgiving? 
Yes, I confess that Christ is my Lord and Savior. Yes, I confess that Christ died for me. And I even confess my sins. But am I confessing a thanksgiving? God, I thank you because you forgave me. God, I thank you because of your mercy. God, I thank you because I know I'm not perfect. But in your perfectness, Father God, you allow me to make a way. What noise am I making? I understand that now I'm entering your gates and your courts with praise because I'm thankful to you. That's what it says. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. How am I blessing his name? You see a son and a father and what son that carries the, 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 the father's name, he'll tell you don't go out there and embarrass me. Boy, don't you know that you got my name? And I say man and, and son, but this goes for all children when you have the name. The name is important. And if we call ourselves Christians, we better not go out there and embarrass our father. We better understand the name that we carry. And that name is Christ. And am I being more Christ-like? Am I being more of a Christian? Am I going and understanding that God died for me and he's my father and I better not embarrass him? Do I understand that he's good, that his mercy is everlasting, and his truth endured to all generations? I, I like that because I see that word all again. And when I see the word all again, it lets me know that there's nowhere I can hide, nowhere I can run. There's nothing I can do to stop what God has. All I can do is be on this team or be on the opposite team. Well, I don't know about you, but I like to win. I'm very competitive. And if I understand that God is a winner, then guess what team I'm going to be on? I'm going to be on the winning team because I understand that God, I need my children looked after. And God, I need my grandchildren looked after. And God, I need my great-grandchildren looked after. Even when I'm not here, or I need them to understand that God, you are still a father to the fathers. God, you are still Yes. That man yes. that they can count on, that spirit Father. of love. Yes. God, I thank you. Hallelujah. Yes, Father. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank Serving you. the Lord means that we have to serve the kingdom of God. Uh -huh. The people uh -huh. is what make up the kingdom. Uh -huh. There's no kingdom without people. Yes, amen. It wasn't by Coincidence that he said, love thy neighbor? He understood. If you love me, then you must love the people because there's no kingdom without people. Jesus. Jesus. And when I'm loving him, how must I love him? Well, Ephesians 4 and 12 says this. For the perfecting of the saints, for the work of the ministry, for the edifying of the body of Christ. Well, what do you mean? Also, we're dealing with leadership. Because before that, he said that he gave some apostles and some yeah. prophets. Some. Yeah. This is what he's saying. But he's saying it's all supposed to work together yeah. for the edifying of the body, Lord. of the body of Christ. Lord. That rock that we call yes. Jesus, that rock of salvation. Yes. It's supposed to edify. Yes, Lord. And that's when we can understand Psalms 118 and 24. What it says. This is the day which the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. But we can't understand it when we don't understand who God is. We can't understand it when we don't understand what all the things that God has done. We don't understand it when we don't realize that, yes, Jesus did go to Calvary, and I believe in that. And Jesus, they hung him up, and they nailed him to the cross, and, and he died for me and you. We, 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 we can't have a, a gladness and a, a rejoice that this is the day that the Lord has made. We can't understand that weeping might endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning when we don't understand the scripture and the word. Listen, you don't get joy in this and happiness confused. The world can try to take your happiness, but they shouldn't be able to take your joy. Because your joy should be rooted in the Lord. And yes, you might have made me upset, but I'm going to go to the Lord. And I'm going to go before his presence. And I'm going to say, God, I need you to help me with this anger. God, I need you to help me with this frustration. God, why? Because in the morning, I need to be smiling. In the morning, Father God, I need to know that you're going to make a way. God, I understand that you took grandmama. God, I understand that you took daddy. God, I understand that you took my husband. God, I understand you took my wife. But I have to understand you took them. The devil did. And since you took them, God, I'm going to be glad and rejoice and tell them to save me. Lord, I need to do the work of the Lord. 
when you give me the gifts, God, I need to understand that you are Alpha and Omega. And because you are the beginning and the end, God, I just have to work the gap. And if I stay in the gap saying, Lord, I love you, Lord, I thank you. If I'm saying, God, I'm going to make a joyful noise, then watch the crowns that you give me. All I'm saying is, what noise are we making? What are we saying that will give God glory? What are we saying? Is it tearing others down or is it edifying? Are we being the example of Christ? Are we showing who Christ is in our hands, in our feet? What kind of noise are we making? Because once we start to make a true joyful noise, uh, it don't matter what they're doing at the White House. Uh, it don't even matter what they're doing in the courthouse. Uh, they're going to find people starting to come back to God. Right now, even in this rain, it's somebody that thought they was going to go play golf instead of come to the church house. Uh, right now, it's somebody that's thinking about how the movies they're going to go watch and the things they're going to go see instead of saying, God, can I give you songs of desire? God, can I praise your holy name? And all I'm saying to the church today is that we have to understand what noise are we making that's inviting to the people? What noise are we making to say that, show the people that we need Jesus, that we need the Lord? What noise? We have accountability. We have some work to do. Just because we say the Simon is not done. But it matters on the noise that we're making. Praise the Lord. 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 God is good this morning. Amen. 